Okay, so this is another movie about the 2011 attacks in Norway. And it takes a very different approach to the Paul Greengrass movie, where his movie basically focused on the aftermath of the attacks. This movie is entirely about the attacks on Utøya Island. And if you're not familiar with the story, basically a heavily armed gunman went out to this island where there was a youth camp thing going on. And he basically slaughtered dozens of kids. Just shot them down in cold blood. And in my review of the Paul Greengrass movie, I said I had a few issues with it. The main one being that I didn't really feel connected to the characters. Well, in this one I did. Almost to a fault. Because this thing is rough to watch. And I'll tell you right now, this thing is not for the faint of heart. It might be one of the most intense and emotionally draining movies I've ever seen. Now, I didn't know very much about this movie going in. I knew it was a Norwegian production, a lot smaller in scale than the green grass one, and that it would be more focused on the events on the island. What I wasn't expecting was something so relentless and brutal as this. I mean, I've seen a lot of war movies, and a lot of movies about tragic events and disasters, but very few of those even come anywhere close to the intensity of this thing. This might be one of the most realistic depictions of what it might be like to be put in a situation like this I've ever seen in a movie. It's masterfully done. And a lot of that has to do with the main girl we follow. She just does a fantastic job. And I can't even imagine what it must be like to shoot a movie like this. But a lot of it also has to do with the filmmaking itself. It's shot with handheld cameras that follow the main girl very closely. When she runs, the camera runs. When she falls, the camera falls. When she's lying down as close to the ground as she can get, to hide, the camera's basically buried in the dirt. And to make it even more intense, there's virtually no cuts in this thing. I mean, there has to be cuts, but they're not obvious at all. So you really don't get any rest from the action. And the whole thing is shot in real time too, meaning the attack lasted 72 minutes, and you feel every single second of it. And the gunshot sound effects were maybe the most realistic I've ever heard in a movie. Now, I've been in the military. I've shot assault rifles in the woods. And that's more or less what it sounds like. It's loud as shit, and if you don't know where it's coming from, or who it's aimed at, it's probably terrifying. It feels like the characters on screen really are in the woods, getting shot at. And the dialogue is kind of clipped and fragmented, and doesn't always make a whole lot of sense. You know, what people might actually sound like under crazy circumstances like this. And all of this just adds to the realism of the movie. And as I said, it's relentless. It goes on for 72 minutes straight, and it's honestly exhausting. And it felt like maybe the longest 90 minute movie I've ever seen. It felt like it would never end, which usually would be a bad thing, something I'd probably complain about. But here it's done intentionally, for effect and it achieved exactly what it set out to do. So I can't really complain about it, but it was still tough to sit through. And I can't exactly describe it as entertaining or an enjoyable experience. I mean, I saw the 90 minute runtime and after sitting through the other movie, which was two and a half hours, I honestly feared this would be a breeze. Well, it turns out it really wasn't. It's pretty much the opposite of that. And I don't really know how many people would want to experience this thing because that's what it is. It's an experience. And I'm not sure I'd call it a pleasant one either. I mean, I marvel at the film making and just how well this thing managed to capture the atmosphere and the feeling of being there on that island. Just the confusion and the chaos and the terror, the frantic phone calls to the parents, having no idea what's going on or when it's gonna end. And it's just a really intense movie, really intense. So would I recommend it? I mean, as long as you know what you're getting into, sure. But it's not gonna be for everyone, but it is a pretty incredible movie. So maybe go watch it, maybe don't. I'm not your papa.